welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first 2018 video oh my gosh i cannot believe i just said that 2018 that is insane but anyway i really hope you guys had a very fun and exciting new year's eve and have started your new year and new year resolutions like you guys wanted to and if you're not well we still have the entire year it'll be a good year just be positive minded and you'll get through it but putting all of that aside we are going to be doing this makeup look that i have on today i i also did want to point out that i know that this look might look a little bit similar to the sultry holiday holiday glam look that i posted recently here on my channel but it's definitely not the same at all it just looks similar because i'm guessing we're using like the same kind of tones or whatever but we're definitely not doing the same look at all um i definitely did use different things to create this look so they are kind of similar but different in their own special way but enough of me talking um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you are interested in learning how to create this look here then just please keep on watching before we begin let me just stop this real quick to apologize for this raggedy ass microphone that the macbook air has honestly my phone has better microphones than this so i'll definitely be buying a new microphone because this sounds terrible anyways we're going to be using the Too Faced hangover primer to start off this prepping because we need this makeup to stay locked in the entire day Next, for foundation, we're going to be using my favorite foundation that I just cannot get rid of. This is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in NC20. It is super full coverage and it definitely covers up all of my imperfections. For concealer, we're going to be using this NARS concealer and also this MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC20. Both of these have been working miracles. They both work really great together. Next, to cream contour my face, I'm actually going to be using a foundation instead of actual creams just because I feel like foundations last so much longer than creams as cream contours. So this one is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in N8 and I am super obsessed with it. To set the under eye and also the entire face, I'm going to be using my favorite powder of all time, the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. To add more color back into my skin, I'm going to be using this Studio Fix Powder from MAC. This is in C6. If not, I will list it down below for you guys. Next, to contour my face, I'm going to be using this Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder in Havana and this BH Cosmetics Brush. To warm up my face, I'm going to be using this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in Dark Tan. I'm going to be applying this on my cheeks and forehead. And for blush, I'm going to be using this Makeup Geek Blush in Heart Throb. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to be taking this shade here from the 35R palette from Morphe. I'm going to be using this shade as my transition color. I'm going to be buffing this out into the crease and outer corner and also dragging it out just a little bit. Next, taking this shade, I'm going to be doing the same thing, adding this in windshield wiper motions to the crease and circular motions, dragging it outward onto the outer corner. Next, I'll be taking this shade. I'm going to be adding this to the crease and outer corner. We do want these two dark shadows that we'll be using, mainly focused on the outer corner since we do want that depth and definition to be the main focus of this look. Now to cut the crease, we're going to be using this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in this very flat brush. I love this brush because it's really thin and it really helps me get that super defined crease. Although I do not know the name of this brush, I do apologize, but I do recommend just using a very flat brush. Next, to apply onto the lid, we're going to be using this highlighter from Makeup Revolution. This one is called Golden Lights, I believe. I will list it down below for you guys. This is such a beautiful shade. It's definitely one of my favorites. Now I'll be using this BH Cosmetics palette. This is their marble collection. I'll be taking those two white shades that they have in that palette to kind of give this shade a pop of color and just to kind of brighten up that shade a lot more. 
Next, we're going to start blending out the outer edges. I'm going to be taking this second shadow that we used for this look and apply this onto the center. We're going to be using this to bring out a little bit more warmth into the look and adding a little bit more sultriness and mobbiness onto this look. Now for my favorite part for eyeliner, we're going to be using this liquid lipstick from Too Faced Cosmetics. I love the fact that you can use your matte liquid lipsticks as eyeliners. They just bring the whole look together and there's so many looks you can do with them. And this is just one of them. I love this and it just came out so beautiful. Moving on to lashes, I'll be using these Flower Garden lashes. I will list their name down below. For liner, you guys know I love using the NYX Gel Liner. I'll be doing this really quickly before we apply our lashes. For my inner corner, you guys know I love a super pigmented highlight. So I'm going to be using this Hikari Cosmetics Lip and Cheek Pencil. And I'll be using this as my base before we apply the actual shade. Which I'll be doing so right now. I'll be taking these two from the same BH Cosmetics palette. It's just going to give me a super beautiful highlight shade. And for highlight, I'm going to be using this San Markel palette. I'll be taking this very golden highlight shade. And I'll be applying this onto my cheeks. And lastly for the lips, I'm going to be using the same liquid lipstick that we used for the eyeliner. This is such a beautiful shade, so of course I had to use it again. Alright you guys, so this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do recreate this makeup look, don't forget to tag me. I would love to see it. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye guys.